Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at message boxes. And what we're going to do is we're going to get what the user has selected. So let's say we choose message box buttons dot abort, retry, and ignore. Well, we're going to get which one they clicked and then do something according to that. So let's go ahead and create a new project. And let's go ahead and call it more message boxes. Select Windows Forms application and click OK. Now let's go ahead and resize the form. And now let's show our toolbox and we'll add a button. Now let's go ahead and rename this to button message and then we'll go ahead and double click on this now this is going to open up the event handler for that and we'll go ahead and zoom in some so now what we're going to do is we're going to show a message box so we'll type message box dot show and for our arguments we're going to use um, click something for the message and then we'll just do title for the title and then we'll do message box buttons dot abort retry ignore and now for our last argument we'll just do message box icon dot question okay so now that it shows this message box we are going to create an if statement around this message box so what we're going to do is we're going to type if right here so if message box dot show and it's got uh, our abort retry and ignore so if that equals just type in abort and we can see right here that we've got windows.forms.dialogresult.abort so what this does is it tests to see if the user has clicked abort so it's got windows.forms because the message box is stored under the windows.forms and then we've got dialog result which is the result of what they clicked in the message box and then we've got dot abort now there's other stuff we can use here we can use cancel ignore no none okay retry and yes so we're just gonna do abort so now we're gonna add an end if right here so we can get rid of that error showing up so now what we're gonna do is we're going to type message box dot show and we'll type aborted so they know that they have aborted whatever whatever operation it is even though there isn't one this is just a demo program so now we can run this and you can see here that we've got form one and we can click button one and it'll tell us to click something and then when we click abort you can see that it shows a message box that says aborted now if we go ahead and run this and click something else other than abort like retry it's just going to close out of that so here I'll zoom out a bit here so you can see all of this code or that's not gonna work so um, if message box I'll show and then we've got our message box and then we set the message box buttons to abort retry ignore so if that equals abort then go ahead and tell them that it is has aborted now my challenge for you guys is to add some else if statements that will handle uh, if they type something other than I mean if they click something other than abort so let's say if they click retry it's gonna message box dot show um, retrying you can also put this in a select case statement which is more efficient than an if statement so go ahead and practice this this might be a little bit confusing for you at first but you'll get the hang of it and um, once you've got this down go ahead and move on to the next tutorial thanks for watching guys